Hmm. An easy critique of the lack of polish of both my productions and my verse. I counter by saying at least I am trying and they could be much worse. As I cruised around the property today, I jotted down a few things that I want to say. I'm not one for organized religion. I believe your spirit should be free. But I do learn from those with wisdom, like those who teach of liberty. King and Gandhi, and yeah, Jesus, coalesced on one clear thought, how a person or a nation treats the children, says a lot. A single child whose needs aren't covered is the least of crimes I see. At the other end of the scale, there is the indiscriminate slaughter by our military. I can almost be forgiving of an accidental death, but when the norm is genocidal, my forgiveness has no breath. Empty claims of minimizing deaths within an illegal war is a sham to misdirect our vision and such actions I abhor. Minimizing needless anguish is a lie I won't embrace, and the evil that condones it is a national disgrace. And there's a simple, sane solution to our leader's insane act. Five times within our Constitution, impeachment calls and that's the fact. You say our Congress needs to function. Well, this I also have often said so. But I must address that also needed is that person in your mirror. Get your butts up off the sofa. Get your body into gear. The time has come to be a citizen. Dissent, protest, ignore your fear. Washington and Payne and Franklin pledge their lives while under much more stress. And you, my fellow average person, should own up, step up, do no less. Quit shopping, acting unempowered, leaving the task to those you elect. Demand they act to represent us. Demand they treat us with respect. Boycott all commercial factors that make profits off of war, including most the mainstream media, not just Fox. Shrub invaders, obvious whore. The time to act is at hand. This nation is turning much more vile. No claiming that you don't understand. 
now into the circle file. I love America. Let's hope we can keep it. 